Shumir, today I would like to work on your consistency. Okay. But not only that, I also want you to work on your ability to put away sitter balls. Center balls? Sitter. Sitter balls, okay. Yeah, so you're gonna be super consistent from the baseline, which means that you're gonna to have to work really hard to be consistent. You gotta have the right intensity, the right shot selection, uh -huh. and the right direction of the ball because I'm gonna be standing in the corners. Okay. Okay, but every now and then I'm gonna give you a sitter and you not only have to react quick to it, but you have to play the ball the correct way and put it away in the open court where I'm not standing. Got it. Super simple drill. All right. But this is very important when it comes to your match play because I want you to think of hitting winners this way. When you're behind the baseline, you can play aggressive, don't get me wrong, but don't try to hit winners from back there. Yeah. Wait for your opportunity to hit a winner okay. when the ball is a little bit shorter and higher, okay? Up high. Okay. All right, come on. All right. Okay, I like that. Nice job, Shamir. Shamir, don't slice everything. Hit the backhand. Put work. Come on up, real quick. I haven't hit a backhand in a while. It's okay. Now, well, I know it's easier. It's slice is the lazier shot in tennis. But that aside, I want you to practice your backhand, no doubt about it. Okay, okay. And it doesn't mean a slice is bad. Yeah, because it's going in. It's, it's you hitting a nice slice, no doubt yeah, about so that. Yeah, so I'd rather but, do that than hit it out. But you're not playing a match right now, so let's practice your backhand. Got it, okay. Okay, there's no pressure right now. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. One thing that you're doing that's a common mistake at the rec level. Yeah is central balls, you're losing your intensity. Got it. In other words, when the ball comes right to you, you relax, you stop moving your feet as much. Got it. You lose your intensity and you commit a mistakes. Okay. At central balls. So when I go right down the middle, you have to move just as much. Got Especially it. Especially if you're hitting a forehand, you have to get out of the way. Remember, it's windy, the ball's gonna be moving around. So don't associate balls that are coming right at you with less intensity. The same amount of same. intensity on every single ball. Got it. All Independent right. of where it is on the court, okay? Got it. Come all on. Right. It's not bad at all. Come again. There it is. Oh. Come, Shamir, fight. Oh, no. Another very important scenario. So the ball was shorter. It was almost like a drop shot, right? Yeah, I had to run to it. So the simple solution to this issue is that if you happen to allow the ball to drop below the level of the net, you can't put it away anymore. Correct. That's when you can start playing with feel, maybe do a counter drop shot and angle. That's fine. But if you're going to go hard like you did there, that has to happen when the ball is above the level of the net. Yes. So your incentive is to get up there as quickly as possible so you can take the ball higher. Okay, so I should have just dropped it or something. Or if you're going to go forehand cross court deep, you roll it roll. and don't hit it as hard. Right, like we talked about earlier. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. Go, Shamir, go. Shamir, I don't expect you to get every ball, but I expect you to try to get every ball, okay? I don't expect you to get every ball, but I expect you to try to get every ball. What I don't want to see is you standing there and just looking like this. Go there. Even if you know that you can't get it, you still go, because that's the only way you can eventually get that ball. If you don't try, you'll never get it. So the, the thing is, you know that you can't get it, so you don't try. Right. So you're going to know you can't get it, but you're going to try anyways. It's better than nothing. Because then you're working on reaction time. Because right. maybe you couldn't get that ball. That's, that's fine. But you have to work on reacting to balls Even every if time. I know that I, I'm not going to get it, just try. Absolutely. And is that my, your opponent too? They say, oh crap, he still tries to go get it. So it maybe messes with him a little bit mentally. Cause, or if he just sees that you're going to stand there. Yes, I like the way you think. Yeah. Yes, a lot of guys are annoying that way, right? Yeah. When they try to hustle every ball down, yeah, it's annoying. It gets to, play. to you because it's like, dang, this guy is still gonna, he's still gonna run it, and you know, he might get a racket on it. So then I have to put a little more, and then I'll miss. I like that. So. I like that. That's a good way to think about it. Yeah. So even more incentive to try for every ball. Okay. Got it. Come okay. on. Come on.
Okay, not bad, but more angle. Put it more that way. Very good, Shamir. Nice job. The way you got to approach playing in the wind is that you have to intensify your footwork and you cannot relax. You have to be super alert because the ball is going to be much more unpredictable. The wind's going to take it. In this case, like, this is kind of an easy wind because it's blowing along the court yeah. straight. So either one guy is playing with the wind and one guy is playing against the wind. When the wind's coming from the side, that's when it's bad. It's super bad. Yeah. Or when it's swirling around. So in your case now, you're getting a lot more power. Okay, but what you gotta watch out for is when I hit the ball, that ball might die. And you got burned a couple of times thinking the ball's gonna get to you, but the wind took it and pushed it towards the net and you yeah, exactly. end up letting it bounce twice. So With more intensity, yeah, I'll get to you it. have to be alert and, and know that the ball is gonna be a lot slower and it might completely stop. Right. And so high intensity. Now get in there. Come on, be ready up there. What's going on? Oh, right, you gotta be ready for the volley. Don't really but don't relax when you hit that great forehand. The ball might come back. Alright? Hit a forehand and then you're like this. Oh, so what I like you to do now is practice with the wind going against you. Okay. So here you're going to have to hit the ball a lot harder. Yeah. Okay. More footwork. But my ball is going to be coming probably a little bit faster and it won't, it's not going to be dying like it does now. Yeah. Like it did before. So you're going to have to be on your toes, maybe adjust your positioning slightly. Mm -hmm. And the timing is going to be more tricky. Yeah. All right. Got it. Come on. All right. Hit the ball harder from here. Harder. Come on, harder. Harder, everything is inside the service line. Hit it. Harder. What do you think? You think it's good when it's landing inside the service line? No, it's not, I can't get it deep. But hit it harder, I keep telling you. Hit, hit the harder. ball harder. You have to, you're, play, you're playing against the wind. So if you don't hit it harder, your ball's gonna die inside the service line. You're playing against that very strong wind. Hit it harder. You have to hit a lot harder. Okay? So they Come don't on. have the control for it. The wind is going to keep the ball inside more than it normally would. You have to play with the conditions. Got it. You can't play a normal game. That's what makes tennis so tough. Play a normal game on a day like today, you're going to lose. You have to adapt to the conditions. Hit it harder. Which means you're playing against a strong wind, you have to hit a lot harder. In order to do that, I have to have the intensity with the footwork, right? Well, that's true. Yeah. Come on. Up. Good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Position yourself better. Come on, buddy. Okay, that's a forehand. Well, that's just like, I'm not going to say the L word because it's kind of rude, but you know what I'm talking about, right? You have I to get. There. Listen, you got. You didn't try hard enough. I didn't move enough. That's here. the easy way out. You're on the forehand side, ball comes there, you're, you hit a backhand from the forehand side, it's unacceptable. This should have been a forehand. But, dude, come on. Yeah. High intensity. All right, you got one more round. Okay. I know these are tough conditions, it's not fun to play t in t conditions like this, but you make the best of it, and guess what? You might play a match under these same type of conditions, so it's good to practice. Oh, yeah. Like this, okay? But yeah, I understand it's not fun to play in this. But yeah. you gotta give it your all. 100% effort. Come on. All right. Yes. Come on. Yes, Shamir. Come on. Work hard back there. Work hard. Come on. Yes. A little bit better, but what about the shot selection? The placement of it? Yeah, it was way bad, yeah. Well, why go for the line? I wasn't, I don't believe it or not. I'm just trying to get to it and just hit it straight. I'm just... You're hitting it straight towards the line, though. It needs to be more that way. Yeah, exactly. Give myself more margin. Come on, man. One more round. Let's do this. That last ball's killing me, man. 
Come on. Come on, cross court. More. Better. Okay, that was a little bit higher. Now the shot selection was bad again. So now you hit it right in the middle here. How about between the middle and between the line, right here? Perfect. One more round. Come on. More. Okay. No, that was better. You're doing good in these conditions. A lot of people wouldn't even step up to the court. They would say, oh, you know, we'll forget tennis today. It's impossible. It's too windy. But you came here and you gave a good practice. You realized the difficulty of playing against the wind. You didn't have any problems playing with the wind, but against yeah, the wind, against the wind the whole... caused you a lot of issues. But there were some good rallies there towards the end. Yeah. Big takeaway from today is shot selection from half court balls, intensity. Sometimes you still get caught flat footed back there. Oh, yeah. 100%. And most importantly, reacting to every single ball. Yes. This is going to be key for you from now on. Every ball counts, every ball matters. Even if you think it's not going to go over, it's going right. to Right, yeah. because you're going to be working on your reaction time, and eventually you're going to be getting to some of these balls, okay? Got it. All right, man. Thank you, Nick. All right.